I've spent almost half of my life in prison, so 16 years. I was always a dreamer. I used to go to the library all the time and read, and I would imagine a different world. I was able to like mentally leave my neighborhood through reading. Uh, growing up, I ran track, played chess. You know, I played the cello at some point. So I was raised in a very violent neighborhood. Every couple of months, we had to go bury somebody. My brother was shot, my cousin was gunned down right behind my house. I lost five friends before the age of 17. In my teenage years, my mom went through, you know, a terrible relationship with a police officer that, you know, sexually assaulted my mom, punched me or pulled out his gun and put it to my head. I started carrying a weapon for protection. After so many times of him smacking my mom around, at some point, the next person that, that does something to me, I'm gonna respond. Not too long after that, you know, people came after me and I ended up taking a person's life. And I felt terrible, it was, it was hard for me to even imagine that I did it. I was 17. My mustache had just grown in. They sentenced me to natural life in prison. I remember them putting me in a dark van, you know, they just drove me away. I just came to the realization that I probably would never get out, that I would have to grow old and die there. My family had stopped accepting my calls and I wasn't getting visits from them. The mail uh, stopped coming. I knew in my heart that I was a good person. I just decided that I just wanted to turn my life around and so I just started writing up a plan. Embracing my education could be my way out of prison. I call it a positive delusion. I had to delude myself to believe that I would get out somehow. It allowed me to get up every day and work really hard at school and, and study and really embrace it. I became a mentor, I started volunteering, I started to help folks, and I just never stopped. But when I wrote the master plan up, I sent a copy of it to my judge. 10 years had went by and the judge says, I'll let you out, but you have to finish this master plan. And so they gave me a chance. Education was the key path for me to get out of prison. Bernie gets it more than anyone. We are going to invest in our young people in jobs and education, not jails and incarceration. If you look at our community now, it's not that people are out here doing these crimes and stuff because they're stupid. People lack the knowledge to do things, to, to start a company. What do you do? How do you do that? I want every kid in this country, I want them to know, yes, they will be able to get a higher education. Bernie understands the impact of tuition-free public college. He's willing to contribute and do something bold to change the system. The effects would just be amazing. I wanted to be a social entrepreneur. I wanted to, you know, create opportunities that I didn't have growing up. So I feel like it's my job to go back into these communities and create pathways and show people how beautiful the world is and what's possible. My name is Chris Wilson, and I'm supporting Bernie Sanders as President of the United States. Thank you.